Hey, Cooper. What? I think there's a package for you at the door. You want to go get it? Yeah. When we first started homeschooling, we used um, a program called Waterford, and it was online, and it, we used it for Gavin's math, science, and language arts, but I felt like I wanted to supplement. I didn't want all of his core subjects to be online, and so we did Singapore for his first year, and then I heard about The Good and the Beautiful, and we tried it, and we loved it, and today we're going to show you why. You'll see some unboxing of new uh, levels, and some of it in action, as well as I'm gonna include a little bit of how I prep. Hopefully it will help some of you that are looking into it or are looking at your options to see if it's a good fit for you guys. The Good and the Beautiful is a non-denominational Christian-based curriculum founded by Jenny Phillips, who I had the honor of performing in a concert with last Christmas and just found her to be so kind. And it's just no wonder to me that such a beautiful company would be started by such a genuinely beautiful person. It brings back nature and faith-based concepts into all of their subjects. It's nice to be able to have spiritual discussions around math concepts or studying in mathematicians that were inspired. It is not available in all levels. Currently, they have kindergarten through third grade that's been released. But they have ongoing plans for future releases. <gasps> what could it be? I need some help. Oh. Wow, okay. A package in a package. Yes, okay, let's do it. Cool pick. What else is in here? Die. Twenty coins. What? And ten grams. He is most excited about those toothpicks. It's like you're gonna be oh. putting shapes onto these different pictures. He is busy getting those pattern blocks popped out. Everything's really high quality. And place value charts. So the adhesive pockets will go there, and then we'll cut these out and color in one for each day. How's it coming there? Still working on opening that up. It even came with day folding. Oh my goodness, these cute little book manipulatives. Everything is, oh. you know, nature-based, really beautiful and high quality. Mom, Venus. We are my Venus. This is so cute, oh. little calendar. I'm gonna practice his letter writing. And then these are a bunch of cards that are perforated, so that's nice. Won't have to cut them. So it's cool they come with these cute little labeled baggies for you. Cute little worms. They do come with the cute little worm thingies, so we know where to put the worms in the intro manipulatives. Our preference is always to do worksheets, and so I love that the Good and Beautiful has PDF options. So you can see it's very colorful, there's stories. The things that are the parent instructions are in one color. You can see it's in the bluish green, and then the black is what I would actually say. Good job, buddy. Look, we fit everything in there. Are you excited to do math? Yeah. Yeah, you, you want to start right now, huh? You want to start right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, we can start right now. Green triangle, right? It's all the triangles go. The important part of weekly prep is pencil sharpening. I'm just gonna show you kind of a sample planning session. So go to his math section. And we've been averaging about three lessons a week, two to three a week. So I'm gonna take out lessons two through four. In this lesson, it's telling me that the supplies I'm gonna need are just standard supplies. Just, you know, pencils, dry erase board, dry erase markers. And every day there's the daily dose that's gonna be the same. I can just go right to my math box. I'm just gonna 
briefly glance at each section and what I might need to grab the 5B manipulatives. Looks like we will also need the handwriting card. Shape shuffle graph number one. Oh, that's something I need to print. Anything that I can't do right immediately here at the table, I'm gonna write here. So one thing that a lot of people recommended to me when I started homeschooling was to find out what type of learners my kids were. But like with little ones, when they're just starting out, like how can you possibly know that? And so it's great with to start out with a curriculum like The Good and Beautiful that can appeal to lots of different learning styles. So here's a little tip for auditory learners. Okay, after that, it says student worksheet. And so here we go. So I've got my pile of all the things I'm gonna need for lesson two. This is really hard to do with one hand. <laughs> so the last thing is that I'll just check my follow-up list. Sometimes there'll be some supplies they'll want or different things I need to print. Once I stick the worksheets in here, then I know I have gathered everything that I need. So that is basically it for level K, prepping of a lesson, how I do it using the PDFs and grabbing all my supplies beforehand. So then it's just open and go. And also so he doesn't get distracted with all the fun, tempting things in the math box. Okay, so do you know what comes after 14? Yes? Oh no. Not another five. What do you think you write 15? One and five. Good. Can you, do you want to try it or do you want me to do it? There was so much to see and do on the farm. There were horses to ride, rabbits to feed, and mounds of hay to dive into. The second one slides. Second one slides. Goes up. But then she dives. <laughs> <laughs> In came another bee and landed on the flower. No, every flower has this. What? Nectar. Uh, the flower go to the other flower so all the flowers grow. Oh, can we sit up? No. Da, da, da. Breathe. <gasps> so we need a new card, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Fly a on. baby. Oh. Over, down, and up. The last month is the year December. Just finished our lesson. I set our timer for 20 minutes and we didn't get to these bonus student worksheets and independent activities, so I moved them over here. I'm going to my lesson. Oh, you're welcome. Later, when I'm working with brother a little bit more, he can work on those things because he's such a big boy and can do math all by himself, huh? Yep. All right, so here's a quick look at all the things that were in the math one and two activity box. We've got games over here, different tangram activities, 3D shapes, game pieces and cards. Thing we need for the games. Yeah, so I'm gonna prep Gavin's math really fast. Uh, we're currently working on the transition lessons. I'm going into level three, we're checking anxiously every single day. Literally checking every single day <laughs> since June started <laughs> to see if math three is out yet. No, it still says it's a future release. The transition lessons are awesome, totally free on their website. You can just download them, and that's a great way if you're not sure if you want to use this curriculum, like try the transition lessons for wherever your child is testing. They have free assessments too to test what level they're at, and then it kind of gives a good overview of everything that should have been learned in the prior level. So with Gavin as well, we've been averaging about uh, three lessons a week right now, so I'm gonna prep at least three of those. All right, so that one didn't need anything extra other than I may grab some kitchen utensils. For this lesson, we do have this cute little clock. And then, oh, fractions. Okay, so I'm gonna want to use our fraction pieces. As I was digging in here, I noticed that we have some tangrams that we haven't passed off. 
I'm gonna grab the tan ground pieces and I'm actually gonna put this in with his independent work. Also because the transition lessons don't have a lot of independent worksheets or anything, so that'll give him a little extra that he can do on his own. And now I know that I have everything I need for all of these worksheets. So that was super easy prep for that one as well. <laughs> all right, what is that shape? Pyramid. Pyramid. How many vertices does it have? Four, five. And how many faces? Four. <laughs> they may be working on separate concepts. There are games and other activities that we can use as a family. And so we're not having to be like, Cooper, go away. But like, Cooper, come and count out these cards for us so we can play this game. So we're able to make it a family experience. Last piece, 18. <gasps> Did you do it? Yeah! 17, 18. You should be so proud of yourself, honey. Let's see what this score brings me. Show me on the clock the time one forty nine. Got it? Yes, very good. So which number is the numerator? <laughs> the one, huh? So, now find the one-fourth pieces and arrange them on top of the whole circle. So how many one-fourth pieces makes a whole? Four. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we have to do a one eight. Do you like math? It's usually one of the first things you pick, huh? Mm -hmm. It goes by quickly and there's a lot of, there's games and activities. Gavin. I think there's a package for you. Huh. Should we go check it out? Looks like Gabby's getting into some activities. Cooper's still working on popping sure. out the fruit and veggie manipulatives. Yeah. I'm curious about this in my math journal because this is new to this level. This whole packet of different game pages and boards. Wow, there's a lot more in this box. Yeah. Okay, so in the activity book, it's gonna show all the different instructions for these game boards. So it's nice because it's alphabetical. At the beginning of the activity book, they have a quick multiplication reference guide. Some different activities you can do, including musical multiplication, which we actually have as well. This is cool, it's showing multiplication games organized by facts. So when we need extra reinforcement to play those games. So here's an at a glance of all the different items from the math three and four activity box. I hope that all was helpful for you to see. I love the good and the beautiful math. It's, it's our thing, we love it. We hope that that gave you some additional insight into what you could expect from all of the current existing levels, K, one, two, and three, as we have now dabbled in or fully done all of them. In the next month, we are going to be coming out with another video that reviews a bunch of other great math curriculums like Saxon and Right Start and others. So make sure that you subscribe and tap the bell so you can be notified when that comes out and all of our other great content. Let me know if you use the good and the beautiful and what you think of it, or if you have any questions or anything else you'd like to see, leave a comment below. Thanks. See you next time. Sometime in the next couple weeks, sometime in the next... Shh. Then I can... Cook. <laughs> A lot harder than it had to be. Oh, I was not looking at the camera. Anyway. Yeah, let's restart that. <laughs>